with that because you come from a different part of the country, you educated better, you got whatever, you got more money than somebody, so you think some kind of way that qualifies you, you know, your family pedigree or some crap. The scripture says all y'all do the same crap. I'm just going to lay that out there and let the, you know, we need to marinate on that a little bit. Because what happens is, we, somewhere, somewhere, a thought enters in my mind that says, all of a sudden, I am above you. And so now I can say some things and express some things because I caught you in a season of your life behaving a certain way and making certain decisions. And, and, and so because you made those decisions and those were not quality decisions and you have ended up in a place because you made those decisions and now I ain't helping you. Why should I help you? Look at what you did. Look at what you thought. Look at how you acted that out. And look at where you are now. You deserve to be there. With what measure you meet it out. Watch when it comes back around your way. And now you understand because you put these on. You put these bad boys on. And now you understand that you got into that situation. Not necessarily by decisions that you made. But by decisions possibly that other people made. And because you didn't know the whole story. You went off of something you thought. And you judge a person for a season in their life. Well, they must be, uh, they must have did this or they must have said that. See, look at them. That's what happened when you do this and that, didn't the other. And then you judge out of that kind of unmerciful, mean, rebellious spirit. And then you end up. You end up in a situation because you got, you know, slipped these on. Watch this. The angel came and slipped it on your foot in the nice season. They say, hey, you have so much to say about this. Let me see how you wear them. Let me see how you look when you put them on. Because I got one just for you, form fitted for your foot. Now, let's see. And it's usually in those situations that we learn a little mercy. It's like, man, I didn't, I didn't even make this decision. I don't, I don't deserve to be here. I, I don't know how I got here. I don't know. Oh, it's because you was paired up with somebody else that didn't know what they was doing. See, what I've learned in life, I'm dropping secrets now. What I learned in life is that it ain't always about decisions that you make. Oftentimes, no matter how accurately you live your life, somebody in your family can mess up your life by decisions that they make. You're doing everything right. You're doing everything right. And all of a sudden, somebody springs up and, and they do something. Your whole, your whole world is messed up because of what they did. <laughs> Keep living. Keep living. See, it's not about, and that's what I mean. It's that legislative type of living where you, where you legislate for yourself. And, and, and perfectionists live like this. They live their lives so meticulously. It's not out of the spirit of God. It's out of the spirit of fear. But because meticulous stuff looks good, it, they, it oftentimes get misrepresented or misunderstood for excellence. And it's not excellence. It's coming out of a spirit of fear. It has no mercy. It has no compassion. It has no long suffering. It has nothing. It has no God quality to it. So when you go into a perfectionist environment and you mess up something, you feel wrath instead of love. You move that. You touch that. I had that there, and you play. You 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 disrespected my house. You disrespected my environment. You disrespected. You moved this utensil. You moved that plate. You moved. You sat on that couch. <laughs> What's the couch for? <laughs> we bought it to sit on it, didn't we? Man. You don't go in there. <laughs> you don't walk. On well, what is carpet? See, in the life of perfectionists, all definitions get distorted. Something that was intended for something no longer has that meaning because it only means non-use. Love, you can sit anywhere you want to sit. Because we have a capacity to replace.